Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's make an easy egg drop soup, perfect for the cold weather that we have coming up. If you guys wanna know how to make this, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. As you can see, there's not a lot of ingredients needed to make this recipe, so this is gonna go super fast. All right, we're gonna start off here with four cups of water. I use four cups to one bouillon cube because I just want a little bit of flavor without having to season it too much with any salt or anything else. But it just works this way, it's really easy. If you use chicken broth, you can do, you're gonna have to probably use more salt with that because you know chicken broth is generally just broth and no other flavor. So I feel like the bouillon cube really does help bring a lot of the flavor out and it's really easy to do. So once you've got that going in there and you're gonna start letting it boil, grab a couple of eggs, use up to three if you'd like. Beat these up pretty well because we're gonna have to pour this into our boiling pot of water when it's ready and time to do so. My daughter wanted to help, so the slow motion is her helping me out. Isn't she such a good helper, guys? Now that you see that the water is boiling, I'm gonna pull out that bouillon cube that you, I'm gonna just show you guys. And we're just gonna make sure that is completely dissolved inside of our pot of water. So just mix it around and stir it up until you know that it's completely dissolved because you don't want a chunk of, of that bouillon cube flavor in your because it'll be a little bit too salty. I like to thicken my soup up a little bit, so I'm just using a little bit of cornstarch and I'm going to ladle the broth right into it. And if you find that when you mix it, and you guys are gonna see because I'll show you guys, but um, if it's too thick or it's not breaking up easily enough for you, just add another ladle of uh, broth into it until you get it to the consistency that you'd like. You can actually skip this step altogether, or if you want to make it even more thick, you can just add another teaspoon of cornstarch right into it until you get it into that thickness that you'd like. And you know, it just depends. When you go to the restaurant, sometimes it's a little bit thicker and sometimes it's a, thin, a little bit thinner. Again, your preference, however it is that you'd like it. I just wanted a little bit of something in there. Just stir and mix until you have it, again, to the consistency that you like, and then all you have to do is just pour that right in. Mix it all up, pretty easy so far, and then let's go ahead and after you're done mixing this up, grab your beaten eggs, and we're gonna pour that right in there against egg drop soup. So we're gonna drop the eggs right into this. Okay, something I want you guys to notice when I did put this in there, I am going to move this all in one direction, and yes, I am using a fork to make sure everything is nicely beaten. So make sure you're always stirring in one consistent direction. And that's it. Now grab your soy sauce or your tamari to keep it gluten-free to bring a little bit of flavor into our, into our soup here, and just stir it around. And all we're gonna do now is let this come to a boil to make sure everything is completely cooked. I'm going to let this boil over completely, not boil over to the top overflowing, but you know, just boil over on the top of this layer here to make sure that it is completely cooked because I want to make sure my eggs are thoroughly cooked through in the soup. Again, stirring all in the same direction. And to make this more a feeling, filling meal, uh, we just eat it with rice. So if you guys like this recipe, please hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.